In this video, we will learn how to round off a number to the nearest 10. So many cases, you might get numbers. Let's say for example, I take 75. Okay. Rounding off to the nearest 10 would mean whether this number is closest to the preceding 10. So every number, given number, lies between two tens value. Okay. What I mean by that is, if I look at 70 and 80, these are the two values which have unit place of 0. These are multiple of 10s. And any given number which lies between these two might be closer to either 80 or it might be closer to 70. By rounding off to the nearest 10, what we mean is, we round off the number or if we have to represent it as a multiple of 10, we see whether it is close to 70 or 80 and whichever one is the closest for it, we round it off accordingly. Now you must be a little confused in terms of what will happen to 75, but that we will see shortly. Right? Now coming back, if you look at this, I have given you numbers starting from 338 until 352. Which are the two tens value over here? If you see, 340 and 350 are two values which are multiple of tens. Now, if I ask you, and I'll take three examples over here, okay? If I ask you, can you tell me if I have to round off 343 or I have to round off 348, which one should I use? So, if I have to round off these two numbers to the nearest 10, which one would that be? To do that, what you need to do is you need to find out what is the distance of a given number from both these tens values. So let's say if I have 343, how far is 343 from 340? It is one, two, three, three places, right? And if I talk about 350, it is how many places? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven places. So which one is closer? Obviously 340. So if you talk about 343, the number which is a multiple of 10 and which is closer to this number is actually 340. So when you are asked to round off 343 to the nearest 10, what that means is I change the units value to 0 and this tens place value is the one which is closer. So in this case 340 is the closer one so I round it off to 340. Now let's look at the second case which is 348. Right? Now 348 is how many digits far away from 350? 2. But if I look at 340 it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 places away from 340 right so therefore it's closer to 350 348 is closer to 350 and when we have to round this off so we have to put in 350 the general rule is if i okay let me call this as the preceding 10 and this as the next 10 or the succeeding 10 the general rule is that if if at units place you have 1, 2, 3 or 4, you round it off to the preceding 10, right? So if it is 1, 341 will be closer to 340, 342 has 2 at the unit's place, it will be closer to 340, similarly for 343 and 44. If you have 6, 7, 8 and 9, which is basically this bracket, this bracket is going to be closer to the next 10 and therefore the rounding off has to be done to the next value but if you see there is one number over here which is 345 if I check how far is it from 340 and how far is it from 340 what you will find out is that this number is basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 5 places from 350 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 Five places from 340. So where do I round this off? The general rule is when you have 5 at the units place you round it off to the next 10. So if it is 345 it has to be rounded off to 350. Right? So let's say if I tell you round off 461. So which are the two tens which will be there? The one before will be 460. The one after will be 470. Because you have 1 in the units place, we'll round it off to the preceding one, 460. Similarly, if you had 467, 
7 is what? It's in the second range. So I will round it off to the succeeding 10 or 470. And if it is 465, again 5 also goes to the next number. So we will round it off to 470. I hope you would have got this point. Thank you for being with us today.